Hello, Frogs. Miss Freeman here. I'm excited to start our new unit. We're going to be focusing on Black History Month. We'll be looking at three local African American artists. We're going to learn about them and then create some mini artwork inspired by their work. I'm going to ask that you save your artwork each each week. Because on the fourth week of February, we are going to turn our mini artwork into a mini gallery and then we're going to share them with each other. <clears throat> this week for your assignment, you will need a piece of paper, something to draw with. You can use a pencil. I use a marker so you can see my lines. Something to color with. I've chosen markers for this project, but crowns or color pencils or paint would be just fine. And a pair of scissors. Two of the three mini works of art are going to be on paper. So we're going to fold our paper today into smaller squares and it's going to end up giving us four. So you have two backups in case you want to start a project over because you don't love the way it's going and then you will need two of them, one this week, one next week. The third project is going to be a sculpture. You will need a piece of foil to make that. So let me repeat that. Week three you will need a piece of foil to make our sculpture. You could also use play-doh if you would prefer. Grab your paper at the top. My paper is turned portrait style or tall like a building. I'm going to bring the top down to the bottom. Smooth out the edges. So now my paper's been folded in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm going to grab my right side and I'm going to bring it over to the left side. Now I'm going to open my paper up, grab my scissors, and cut along the fold. I only need one piece of paper for today. The other three I'm going to set aside to save for next week. I'm going to turn my paper landscape, so long ways. And I'm going to start by drawing a frame or a border around my picture. So my artwork will look framed when I'm finished with it. Straight line across the top, which is a little space at both ends. Come down, leave a little space across the bottom, leave a little space, and connect these two ends. So I basically drew a square or a rectangle inside of my rectangular piece of paper. Now for this assignment, you will need to go to the watch the video about Marvin Finn. He is our artist for this week. Turn your paper, tallic building or portrait style, and we're going to start by creating a frame so our artwork will look like it's framed when we go to hang it in our gallery. I'm going to draw a line across the top, but I'm not going to go all the way to the edges. Basically, I'm creating a rectangle inside of my rectangle piece of paper, also known as a border. So this outside part is going to be the frame, and I'm going to draw on the inside here the artwork. We're going to start with the beak of our chicken. I'm going to round it at the back, and then separate it in the middle. I'm going to touch the top of the beak, and come around for the head, and stop. I'm going to wait on the tail feathers for a second. I'm going to come over here and finish under the beak. I'm going to add the little chin part that hangs down from the beak. And then right between the two, I'm going to draw the chicken's big old belly and curve around to the back. Now in this space that I've left back here is where I'm going to add my tail feathers. I'm going to put as many as will fit. 
I'm just gonna bump along. One, two, three, four. I'm going to come to the inside and add the side wing. Kind of shaped like a raindrop there. At the bottom, I'm going to add the chicken's legs. They kind of have like a meaty part before you get to the rest. Two little sticks and some spikes. And I'm gonna come up top here and add an eyeball. I mean, you can design your eyeball however you'd like. So it could be like mine or it could be different. And then we're gonna give our chicken his mohawk. Now Marvin Finn added a lot of patterns to his chickens. So find a couple places on your chicken that you would like to include a simple pattern. I can add a line pattern here to my chicken's wings. I could put some dots down here and my chicken's legs. I could zigzag the mohawk. And I could stop there or I could keep going. I can also add details to the frame to make it look fancier. Now I'm ready to color. Once it's colored, you can take a picture of it and post it in your classwork. Don't forget to save it so that you can put it in your mini gallery on the fourth week.